This season's Diamond League has ended and we have good news. Jamaica came out of this season with the most top three places they have ever recorded. With the added bonus of two Diamond Trophies. But what does this mean for Jamaican athletics? Seeing that in Zurich, Jamaicans recorded two first place finishes, four second place finishes and four third place finishes to take top prizes in the Diamond League. Ten quote unquote victories with Sherika Jackson doubling up. But it gets very interesting going forward. We'll kick it off by starting with the second fastest man in the world, the man with the second fastest time in the 100 meters and the 200 meters, Johan Blake, who participated in the 100 meters race and came second behind the USA's Trayvon Bromel in a time of 10.05. Bromel finished this race firing guns at the crowd in a time of 9.94. The time isn't anything to shout about, but he got the diamond, the all-important diamond. Up next for the men is the 110 meters hurdles, which was won by Grant Holloway from the USA. But not to be outdone, Rashid Broadbell finished like a bullet over the last hurdle, catching Holloway, who was leading from the start, at the line who outdipped him. Hansel Parchment also placed third in a time of 13.26. Hansel and Rashid can say that they both had a relatively successful season, given what has happened, especially in the World Championship final, where Parchment had to drop out because of a freak injury. But we are proud of our men, nonetheless, who went out there and did what they were supposed to do. Albeit they got beaten, but given that this is a race with barriers and anything can happen, the results are good nonetheless. Up next we'll go to the women's triple jump where Shanika Ricketts once again got outdone by Yulima Rojas from Venezuela. And this time around, she was also beaten by Myrna Beck Romanchuk from Ukraine. She had to settle for third place, but it was a good and competitive competition nonetheless given that Yulimar Rojas has been impeccable for years in every competition. She stands out and stamps her class and takes home the victory. Olympic champion, indoor champion, outdoor champion. If there was a competition in the sky, she would have won. Yulimar Rojas is just the perfect triple jumper and we will not be seeing her get beat anytime soon. Up next we have Geneva who faced an uphill task against the stacked field of quality women where Femke Ball, the Netherlands athlete, came out and took the diamond in a time of 53.03 seconds. And so our girl Geneva Russell had to settle for third in a time of 53.77 seconds. The Panamanian athlete Gianna Woodruff was second in a time of 53.72 seconds. And so Geneve Russell had to bring bring it home for us while Rochelle, Rochelle Clayton placed fifth in a time of 54.25. So even though we had two Jamaican representatives in this race, Geneve Russell was the only one who got placed in the top three. It was a competitive 100 meters hurdles race, one that was similar to the finals in the world championship where the winner was mirrored. Toby Amosan once again came forth and stamped her class in the 100 meters hurdles. Toby is basically unbeatable at this time. Her cadence and her movement between the hurdles are impeccable, almost perfect and possibly we'll be seeing a time of 11 seconds pretty soon if Toby Amosan improves. In second place though we had Tia Jones from the USA in a time of 12.40 seconds and in third place Brittany Anderson once again proving that she is a class champion and she will fight to the very last and always medal. She completed her race in a time of 12.42 seconds. Jasmine Camacho Quinn completed her race in fourth place in a time of 12.49 seconds. 
Toby Amazon was a bit of a distance away from the rest of the field in a time of 12.29 seconds. Natoya Gould came out and mounted a very impressive challenge for the diamond in the 800 meters for women, but she was beaten out by Mary Mora of Kenya in a time of 1 minute and 57.63 seconds. Natoya Gould placed seconds in a time of 1 minute 57.85 seconds. This was a very good race for Natoya. But we wanted her to win, but she just didn't have the leg or the strength to beat the Kenyan athlete. Now we had two Jamaicans in the 400 meters race for women, but they were beaten out by a class field that was only lacking the world champion Shawnee Miller Weibo. Candice McLeod was fourth in a time of 50.03, and Stephanie Ann McPherson was eighth in a time of 52.32 seconds. The athletes from the Dominican Republic, though, took first and second place, where Paulino Marledi won in a time of 48.99 seconds, which was a national record, world leading time, and a personal best. Fiordaliza Cofill came second in a time of 49.93, and Seda Williams from Barbados was third in a time of 49.98. Now, this race was one of the most anticipated races of the day, and this is the 200 meters for women. Sherika Jackson came out and took this one and won this race in a time of 21.80 seconds. Mark you, last year, this time, she lost out to Christine M. Bummer in a time of 21.78 seconds. She came back this year, leaving without leaving any doubt that she would be victorious. And we can all agree that Sherika is in the form of her life and she would have taken that diamond trophy even if that race was full of Elaine Thompson and Christine Embomas. And don't forget that Sherika came in this race with tired legs as she participated in a race over one hour before this one. Now, last but certainly not least, is the race of the championship. The race that was on everybody's lips. They wanted to see who would be victorious. The race that solidified Shelley and Fraser Price's status as the greatest sprinter of all times. I did not say the greatest female sprinter, but the greatest sprinter of all times. In a lineup that had majority of the world championship finalists save for Elaine Thompson era, Dina Asher Smith, Mojinga Kambunji and Melissa Jefferson. The field was still stacked with quality athletes including Twani Terry and Shakiri Richardson. Nevertheless, this did not stop Shelley and Fraser Price from laying down the gauntlet and letting these people know who is the boss. With her 7th sub 10 7 time this season, Shelley Ann placed first and won her 5th diamond trophy. Now Asafa Powell is rightfully called the sub 10 king, so given Shelly's reputation and how she has been running over the years, we can appropriately call Shelly and Fraser Price the sub 11 queen. Shelly Ann is breaking barriers, tearing down walls, removing boundaries at the age of 35 years old, running 10 sixes on a daily basis like it is nothing. Now, Shelly Ann is someone to look up to because it is normally said at a certain age, athletes start to get slower, their performances start to dip, but Shelly Ann is breaking, tearing down all of those barriers and showing the world that this isn't happening. This is a stereotype that will be thrown out of the window and she is obviously Certainly the greatest athlete, the greatest sprinter of all times. Now this ends our review of the Zurich Diamond League and the Diamond League competition overall. But before we end this, we notice you've been watching our videos and we want you to be a part of the Sports DTM family by clicking that subscribe button. If your subscribe button is still red, then click that button, ring the notification bell and welcome to the Sports DTM family. 
tell a friend to tell a friend to tell all of their friends also to come and join the sports DTM family and don't forget be blessed